Howdy, y'all. I'm going to show you my little bouquet I've got going on today. Just some hydrangeas. And I'm going to carry this guy, this celery guy, out to my little tiny garden patch. We're going to stick him in the ground. It's doing real good. I don't see really any roots, but we, we're going to try it anyway. We're going to go ahead and go for it. It's a nice cloudy day. And I think it'd be a good time to stick it in the ground. It's been raining a whole lot, so it's all moist. And so here we go. We're going to take it out here. Also, I need to survey the damage from an armadillo. When armadillos attack, there's definitely one that's been rummaging around in my little garden. And he destroyed a couple of pepper plants. And I did my best to help them. So they kind of fell over there where he dug them up. They're doing pretty good other than that. So I filled the little holes back in. and There's a few new holes. There's a little hole. There's a little hole. So I've decided to leave the toothpicks on my celery wherever I'm going to stick this in there at because I don't want the armadillo to dig it up and maybe the toothpick will, I don't know, just deter the armadillo. So I'm thinking this wants some shade. So I thought maybe I'd plant it over here in the shade of the tomatoes and see how it does. I'm not sure exactly where, not on this side because this gets afternoon sun. Maybe just over here on this side, possibly. I don't know. Maybe just right in here. Hmm. It's not going to get a lot of shade. Just, just stick it down in here for now. See how this does. I want to be sure and put one of these toothpicks sticking out this way. So if the armadillo comes, he'll get a toothpick in his little piggy snout. Okay, that's got some shade. Alright, I think that we're going to give that a whirl. So there's our, there's our little celery. Let me put that back so you can see. Here's our little celery plant tucked in with the tomatoes. What do you think, Howard? Think it's going to work out there? Hmm. It's tucked right in there. And I guess the damage isn't too bad over here in the pepper patch. This one looks like it's seen better days. These got totally uprooted. This one too. And I stuck them back in. I don't know. Maybe they'll make it. They don't look too bad. These are doing okay. They're still real clumpy. But doing okay. I'm still not seeing any cilantro. But Foon told me hers took a long time to germinate, so maybe eventually they'll do something. A couple little pepper plants, and then one good big pepper plant. Seems to be doing good over here by itself. Yeah, so that's a little update on the, on the salsa garden. Of course, the tomatoes are run riot. I just picked a whole bunch of green tomatoes off of here. Um, and gave them to my son. I was going to do a fried green tomato video, but he had his girlfriend with, oh, I'm sorry, his fiance with him, and they wanted to have breakfast. And anyway, we never got around to doing that. He just wanted to take them home and cook them. So I will do that later when I pick some for me and my husband to cook. And I'll have to wait a little while because I already picked all the good ones for him to carry home with him. That's what I did my way in was. So yeah. Howard's eating some grass. And we got the celery, little celery guy in the ground. So there's that. Thanks for joining me. Y'all be sweet.